Have you ever wondered how to start investing? Well, you're in the right place. Investing is the process of putting your money to work for you, with the potential to grow over time. It's like planting seeds today and reaping the fruits tomorrow. It's an essential part of financial planning, helping you build wealth and secure your financial future. But it's not without its risks. Just like planting seeds, there's no guarantee of a bountiful harvest. Markets can fluctuate, and investments can lose value. That's why it's crucial to understand the balance between potential returns and risk. Investing can be a powerful tool, transforming your hard-earned money into a wealth-generating engine. It's an exciting journey, filled with learning, growth, and yes, a bit of risk. But don't worry, we're here to guide you every step of the way. Now that you understand what investing is, let's dive into how to get started. Before you invest, pinpoint your financial goals. This is the first step towards successful investing. Why? Because setting your financial goals gives you a clear path to follow. It's like setting the destination on your GPS before you start driving. Think about what you want your money to do for you. Are you saving for a down payment on a house? Do you want to build a nest egg for retirement? Or perhaps you're planning for your children's education. Each of these goals may require a different investing strategy. For short-term goals, you might prefer safe, low-risk investments. Long-term goals, on the other hand, might justify taking on a bit more risk for the potential of higher returns. Remember, financial goals aren't set in stone. They can change as your life circumstances evolve. But having clear goals to start with will help guide your investing journey. Now that you have a clear understanding of your financial goals, it's time to learn about the types of investments. There are many types of investments available. Each comes with its own set of potential benefits and risks. Let's dive into some of the most common ones. First, we have stocks. Buying a stock means buying a piece of a company. You're betting on that company's future success. The return potential is high, but so is the risk. Stocks can fluctuate wildly in value based on market conditions and the company's performance. Next, we have bonds. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending money to an entity, like a government or corporation. In return, they promise to pay you back with interest. Bonds are generally considered less risky than stocks, but they also offer lower returns. Now let's talk about mutual funds. A mutual fund is a collection of stocks, bonds, or other assets. It's like a basket filled with different types of investments. When you buy a share of a mutual fund, you're buying a piece of everything in that basket. This diversification can help mitigate risk, but it also means your returns are tied to the overall performance of the fund, not just one company or bond. Lastly, real estate. Buying property can be a great investment. The price of real estate tends to rise over time, and if you rent out your property, you can earn regular income. However, real estate requires a significant upfront investment and comes with ongoing costs like maintenance and property taxes. Each of these investment types has its own risk and return potential. Stocks can offer high returns but come with high risk. Bonds are more stable but offer lower returns. Mutual funds provide a balance of risk and return, while real estate can offer steady income and long-term growth. Understanding these investment types can help you make informed decisions that align with your financial goals. In the end, the best investment strategy is one that matches your financial goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Two popular investment options are index funds and individual stocks. But what's the difference? Let's start with defining what these two are. An index fund is a type of mutual fund or exchange-traded fund that aims to replicate the performance of a specific index. This could be a broad market index like the S&P 500 or a more specific sector index. In simple terms, when you invest in an index fund, you're buying a tiny piece of all the companies in that index. On the other hand, individual stocks represent a share in a single company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a piece of that company, becoming a partial owner. The performance of your investment then depends on how well that company does. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Starting with index funds, the biggest advantage is diversification. Since an index fund includes many different companies, it spreads out the risk. If one company in the index performs poorly, it's balanced out by other companies that may be doing well. Index funds are also relatively low maintenance, as they automatically adjust to match the index they're tracking. However, the downside is that returns are limited to the performance of the index. You won't get the thrill of picking a winning stock and seeing it skyrocket. Now let's look at individual stocks. The primary advantage is the potential for high returns. If you pick a winning stock, your investment could grow significantly. 
Plus, there's the excitement of researching and choosing your own investments. But with the potential for high reward, comes high risk. If the company you've invested in does poorly, your investment could lose a lot of its value. It also requires more time and effort to research and monitor individual stocks. The choice between index funds and individual stocks will depend on your financial goals and risk tolerance. If you're looking for a more hands-off approach and steady growth, index funds might be for you. But if you're willing to take on more risk for the potential of higher returns and have the time to dedicate to research, you might prefer individual stocks. Now that you understand the basics, how do you actually start investing? Well, let's dive right into the step-by-step -step process of investing, which includes researching, choosing an investment, buying, monitoring, and selling. First, start with researching. This is where you need to be a bit of a detective. Look for investments that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Read about different companies, sectors, and economic trends. Remember, knowledge is power in the world of investing. Next comes choosing an investment. Once you've done your homework, it's time to pick the investment that suits you best. It could be an individual stock, an index fund, or a mix of both. Just ensure that your choice aligns with your financial goals and risk appetite. Then comes the buying phase. This is where you actually put your money to work. You can purchase your chosen investment through a brokerage account. But before you click that buy button, ensure you're comfortable with the amount you're investing. After buying, we move to monitoring. Investing isn't a set it and forget it game. Keep an eye on your investments, watch how they perform, and stay informed about any changes that could impact them. This doesn't mean you need to check your portfolio every minute of the day. A regular review, maybe once a quarter, should suffice. Finally, they're selling. When the time is right, or when your investment goals have been met, you might decide to sell. This could also happen if your investment isn't performing as expected. Selling is just as important as buying in the investment journey, so give it the thought it deserves. Now let's talk about diversification. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different asset types and sectors, you can manage risk and potentially enhance returns. Diversification isn't a guarantee against loss, but it's a smart strategy to navigate the ups and downs of the market. Investing might seem complex at first, but with knowledge and practice, you can make informed decisions that help you reach your financial goals. Remember, every investor started where you are right now. So take that first step and start your investing journey today. Investing is a powerful tool that can help you reach your financial goals. We've journeyed together through the world of investing, illuminating the path towards financial freedom. We've understood what investing means and how it can transform the way we handle money. We've explored the importance of setting clear, attainable financial goals and how these goals can guide our investing journey. We've delved into the various types of investments available and weighed the pros and cons of each. We've compared index funds and individual stocks, helping you understand which might fit best with your financial goals and risk tolerance. We've walked through the process of investing, step by step, to demystify what can often seem like a complex and intimidating process. Investing doesn't have to be a mystery, it's a tool, a means to an end, and with knowledge and practice anyone can learn to wield it effectively. Remember, the journey to financial freedom begins with a single step. Start investing today and pave your way towards a secure financial future.